disintegration loops in 2001, 2002 was just basically like what all the artists were listening to. This is music that's influencing new music being made. I didn't know what it was or anything. I was just getting something out of the airways, trying to make something from nothing, you know? Music that arrives in certain moments has, gathers a weight from that moment. It's not easy as an artist to connect your work to tragedy because, you know, you run the risk of saying, I'm turning something tragic into an aesthetic experience. Suddenly it elevated everything for Billy from being like an ambient artist that made disintegration loops to a modern composer who is like an icon. We sometimes we do feel that we are living these little loops, but they're always shifting and changing and we can't go back to the loop that we had yesterday um, in the same way that we can't really know what the loop tomorrow will be. Uh, first off, David, uh, I'll finish up congratulations on the short documentary. Really, really fun. I'm a fan of music. I'm a fan of scores as a whole. So I think, I think you know, that, that's the first thing that struck with me, uh, the, the, the situation uh, loops. Um, I think the first question has to be, what caught your eye about, you know, this, you know about William's story that you, you, know, you, you felt that you needed to expand on it and you wanted to, you know, you know, that, that, you know motivated you into working on this project? Well, I think, um, you know, it, it, was, it became such an elegy to 9-11, the piece, that I saw similarities between 9-11 and COVID when it started, especially being born and raised in Manhattan. Um, you know, there was just that certain eeriness to it all. So it immediately reminded me uh, of that time 20 years ago, and I knew we were approaching the 20 year anniversary. So mm -hmm. it seemed it seemed poignant and, and cyclical, and it kind of seemed to make sense. And and sure enough, the, the day that I woke up, uh, when the pandemic like truly kind of started for me, at least, uh, when I had returned to the city, uh, Pitchfork uh, had just reviewed some new music for William. So it just, it was meant to be. Um um, what what I said about the the, the, the integration loops that resonated so much with uh, 9 11. Well, in your opinion, in your personal opinion, after doing this, the, the the documentary, what 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 did you think about what, what is it about the this you know this composition that, that resonated so so much with the uh, with the event? Well, I think it's just uh, you know in the documentary, I believe um, someone says that um, the music's just beautiful music. But then when you think about the tape passing playhead and deteriorating, uh, it adds so much to the lore of it. So I think just the deterioration uh, of the tape itself just was so spot on to what was happening with, I think, our world in New York. And quite frankly, you know, just uh, the horror of the rubble and, and that type of disintegration. Um, but in it, it's haunting and there is there is hope. So I think it's haunting music and it's eerie music but it's also hopeful music. And I think that we look to art in times of, of struggle and despair and, and horror, and we want to be motivated to, mm -hmm. to get better, you know, to, to help heal each other. So I think that's, that's the importance of, of William's music to me. I'm, I'm a fan of music as, as a whole, that's, you know, that's what it is. I think and I, one of the things that I enjoyed the most about the documentary was, was you know, Listening back to the the, the situation, love, I think, and then thinking that something uh, there's a topic that you mentioned in the documentary. I think it goes beyond just you know being tied to 9/11. I think it's just something that you can listen to it in, in any situation. It's just, you can just relax to it and just put it on the background and just do your day-to-day -day chores and stuff like that. Um, did 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 William? Or, or, I'm honestly asking this because I don't know if, if um, I didn't even see. Um, this being going to depth, did, did William felt any backlash when you know when people you know starting relation, doing a relationship within the in the the, the line eleven and did you said the the whole concept of the melody? I don't think he experienced any backlash because I don't think it was his intent. I think mm -hmm. it was uh, you know he was finishing it around that time or or right before that time. I think people or or lovers of music or or or, or Billy's work started to make those parallels. So I think William was really respectful of that. Um, I think he did wind up, uh, um, you know, mentioning that it was for the people who had gone through 9-11 or had lost people or for the victims, because uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't remove himself from that. 
again, the lore and the, the storytelling of it kind of became all consuming. And of course, he used as the album covers the smoke from that night. But I think it was done in, in a respectful way and, you know, never meant to sensationalize. Um, the one thing, another thing that I enjoy the most is that you have to shoot all of this through Zoom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Challenges of doing filmmaking through, through COVID, right? Right. And I absolutely, you know, you know I, I applaud, applaud you for that. And that's one of the things that I, meant, and I, I, I did my, my, my things to watch during South by Southwest is obviously I want people to watch this, this short. It's just because, you know, the genius of it all, uh, how to adapt to technology. I think my question is, and I, I, I love that you made it really raw. You just left, I mean, when, when you had an issue, you just left it there. Uh, what you know? What be, you know? Besides just the, the the technology gap, what other you know problems did you had or, or challenges you found throughout in the process with uh, you know filming the the documentary, which is simply a smart way of it. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, yeah, the the aesthetic soon became like the restriction. The restriction soon became the aesthetic. Um, uh, you know, it wound up being the perfect way to tell this story because Zoom disintegrates. So, uh, you know, the internet uh, problems, the audio, the, all those glitches felt like the loop. So this made complete sense. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, very quickly I knew that and we knew to embrace that. The, the main challenge of course is, and I've done a couple of documentaries now, I, 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 you know, I used to do much more work in narrative film, more recently, more document, uh, documentary films. Um, you want that connection with the subject because they mm -hmm. have to trust you. So you have to be physically in a room with them. You have to be, you know, very empathetic. You have to become a best friend very quickly. So that's very hard, um, 3000 miles away. And mm -hmm. it's very hard, especially when you're, when you're saying, wait, what repeat that, repeat yeah. that thing as you're breaking down or being, you know, very sentimental. So, you know, again, the restriction I think became the aesthetic and, and it worked out luckily. Final question before I let you go. Um, when people watch this documentary, as I know, because of the subject matter expert and the, and the, and the, the subject in hand, it's going to catch a lot of people's eye. What do you expect them to take away from it? I think um, for people who are familiar with, with William's work to, to view it in a different way, in a social distanced kind of way, which makes, again, kind of complete sense um, for his mm -hmm. work. And I think those who aren't familiar with it to appreciate it, I think um, I think he's a genius and, and a lovely person. Um, and I and I, I want people to see that in times of great distress and horror, we can look at art to to help us, you know, get through it together. I agree. I think people like myself are going to relate to it and, and enjoy the whole artistic aspect of what you did, which is what I think one stands out the most. So again. Uh, congratulations on the documentary and, and a really awesome documentary and and obviously thank you for their time for the interview thank you good speaking to you